You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. The NAACP uh, suing Donald Trump uh, on behalf of Congressman Benny Thompson and others. Uh, for inciting this insurrection, in, in addition to Rudy Giuliani. Joining us right now is Derek Johnson, CEO of the NAACP. Derek, glad to have you back on the show. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, go ahead and talk, Derek. Derek, go ahead. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I got you. I got you. All right. Uh, when, when the day, this, the day uh, this was announced, I had a guest on the show uh, who said the NAACP is wasting precious time Filing this lawsuit, uh, said, and, the, and the guest said they should be more concerned about uh, what's happening in the black community. I said, well, they can actually, ch you know, chew gum and talk at the same time. I don't see what the big deal is. Um, why did, did, did you decide to come out uh, this quick with this lawsuit uh, against Trump against Giuliani? Well, white supremacy unchecked only spreads over time. History has shown us that. Domestic terrorism in this country have always been rooted in white supremacy and primarily in the South, uh, particularly during the times of the 2030s, 40s and, and forward. And if we don't do anything to try to put this in check, uh, the genie will continue to grow out of the box and we will see a, a larger uh, incident moving forward. What we're looking at here is a failed coup. And anytime you have a failed coup and you do nothing, no one is held accountable you can guarantee that more people will be emboldened to try it again. This is no different than, than what happened in 1860s leading up to the uh, uh, Civil War. We must at all costs do all that's possible to address white supremacist behavior, particularly when they are radicalized and become domestic terrorists. Anyone who understands the history of this nation, anyone who can think themselves out of a box know that helping black folks is suffocating white supremacy at all costs. And anything short of that, it'd be foolhardy. NAACP in this moment, we are representing Congressman Thompson and soon to be other members of Congress under an act that was adopted in 1871 for the express purpose to protect members of Congress from intimidation and threat and, and their activities of carrying out their duties as members of the United States Congress. Who else should bring this case if we're not bringing it? Is, and this is the point that I have been making, that at some point there has to be accountability. Uh, that you've got to be in a situation where uh, the House impeachment managers didn't call any witnesses, um, Trump didn't testify, Pence didn't testify. None of those things happen. Uh, they need to be on the record. There needs to be conversations with Congressman Kevin McCarthy, with Kellyanne Conway. Did she make that phone call? Uh, did Donald Trump ignore that phone call when or she reportedly called the body man uh, of uh, of Donald Trump as well? Those things should have should happen. The only way you get there is in a court proceeding. What we witnessed last week that culminated Saturday was a political proceeding. And we, we were not surprised that more members of the Senate will put partisanship over their patriot duty to protect our constitutions. No one was surprised by that. But unless we get this in a court of law, we would never get to that point to put anyone under oath for a deposition. It was ironic that today in the paper, the lawyers representing the oath keepers are now saying Trump made us do it. They're beginning to fight each other. But at the end of the day, no matter whether it's Trump or some financier behind Trump, we must address this, force the question of accountability. Because if we don't, they will, they will change the narrative of talking about coming together and we should get along and, and bringing people back together. There is no getting back together until people are held accountable for causing harm and seeking to subvert our democracy. All right, folks, back to our Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. 
This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.